a producer is a person who works with an artist on a record. All right, that's their main job. A producer is responsible for completing the whole vision of the record that the artist wants to sing, write, or whatever the purpose of this record is. And that person to me is Max Martin. During the earlier days, Max Martin started out in a band in the UK from Sweden. His band was called Alive, and they were a band in 1991. Together with his band, they were offered a demo, which was part of their breakthrough. They were offered a demo from Denise Pop, which is also a, a pop producer. So together with Denise Pop, they produced an album that hit stores in UK, and they sold around a thousand, a thousand hits, a thousand records. During that time, Denise Pop saw in Martin that he had a talent for writing pop songs. Now together, um, Denise Pop took Martin under him and trained him to be a producer. But Max Martin had no clue, like what was the first step to becoming a producer, didn't know what to do, like what steps to take. And um, during that time, I guess Denise Pop and Max Martin, Denise Pop trained Max Martin. While working in Cheerion Studios with Max Martin and Denise Pop, together they received a call from uh, Zomba Records who contacted them and asked them if they wanted to work on a Team Pop, a Team Pop group to be exact. So this Team Pop idol was called the Backstreet Boys. And then together with the Backstreet Boys and Max Martin, they came out with albums after albums and hit after hit. Uh, one of the songs that they came out with was Everybody. Uh, one of them is definitely uh, a good one that I like myself. I want it that way. And one of the first Max Martin's first Billboard chart, top chart, was Quit Playing Games With My Heart. Quit playing games with my heart, my heart, my heart. During the late 90s and early 2000s, Denise and Martin took over the pop culture. Together, when they produced Britney Spears' Baby One More Time, that was actually their last album that they produced together. Life doesn't always, always Can you do that? Oh, always The torch was passed down to, uh, from Denise to Max Martin and he opened up his studio in Sweden uh, called the Maritone. Uh, during this time, he kept his relations with Britney Spears uh, and sing Backstreet Boys and started working with Celine Dion. Uh, while he was working with them, he worked with more with his electronic sound um, mixed with Euro pop and his uh, groove, his funk groove, he mixed them all together. Just that was that was his style. That was his pop style. Um, after that, he went back to his roots, and then he went back to his rock roots and started producing more rock, um, more teen rock, I should say, because he came in touch with Kelly Clarkson, and then with her, he produced "Since You've Been Gone." and also behind these hazel eyes. There was just this string of hit after hit when he was in Sweden working in his studio. Max, Max Martin is really a producer idol in the music industry just because of, of his hits. He likes to be in the studio at all the times, literally from beginning of production to the end of production. When it comes to him and songwriting for these artists, he likes to create the music first he likes to put down the tracks, put down his uh, electronic tracks, synths, drums, all first, so that when it goes, when it's time to go to the studio, it's just him and the artist. It's just him and the artist that's just singing and just laying down vocals. So the only thing that has to be done is just between two people. It was the same for Taylor Swift when he worked with her on Bad Blood, which won him the award for best producer of the year, uh, non-classical. And it's the same for The Weeknd, which he worked which he produced and co-wrote um, Can't Feel My Face, which is also a hit uh, now in this time. Uh, Max Martin is an influence on me because he's also an electronic producer. Now, he's an electronic producer that produced a vast majority of hits, of pop hits that we've been listening to since we were young and we are still listening to now. So to me, to speak about him is that he is a, a very, powerful icon in the music industry that his name means something that his name will actually leave a legacy for our generation in the future